heading to Dynamics CRM 2013 tutorial. My name is Eris David and I am the owner of Dynamics CYL website. So let's begin. There is two uh, types of upgrade to Dynamics. In place upgrade and side by side update. We go to demonstrate the both. So first of all I created a demo organization of Dynamics CRM 2011. This is, as you can see, the UI of 2011. It's an empty organization only for demonstration. Let's close it and close the deployment. Okay, let's navigate to my installation folder of CRM 2013 and click on setup server. This is a demonstration, by the way, of in-place upgrade, which is installed on the same server as 2011. Let's see if there is some updates available. Okay, there is no updates. Let's click next. And now I'm feeling the trial license key of Dynamic CRM 2013. Accepting the license agreement and installing some prerequisites. Okay, so here I can select the organization that I want to upgrade. We can do one organization at a time. Um, here I need to fill some services account. Let's click the passwords. Okay. The email writer is on this server. This is a demo environment. And let's see the system checks went well. Well, it's by now we can see that um, it's alert me to uh, make computer restart before uh, the system will be operational. And the data encryption, which is a new feature of Dynamics Server 2013, um, this is a warning about me need to activate it. This is the restart, this is the encryption and it's also said that I have existing SQL server connection um, of course and uh, have to close them before startup can continue And checking for customization, of course, it's a warning. And let's see if, apart from these warning, everything went well. Yes, so I'm clicking next. And this is the summary. Let's begin. So let's uh, skip this progress bar. and go to the final results okay so before I'm launching reporting services 
I want to finish this installation and let's check if our new deployment is ready as you can see this is the former icon of Dynamics CLM 2011 and the, the main problem is that we didn't perform a restart so let's do one and now after restarting the server you can see that the icon was changed this is the new deployment of CRM 2013 we can see now that the demo organization is in it let's click browse to ensure and watch the new user interface of dynamic CRM 2013 Okay, congratulations, we have new deployment upgraded. Let's browse for a minute. It seems that everything is fine. Okay, so the second part of this demonstration is um, about side-by-side -side upgrade so I back up some 2011 organization from another deployment and I'm using this 2013 new deployment to upgrade the backed up file so let's open SQL Server Management Studio for restarting, restoring the organization. Click Restore and browse my installation folder which contain the backup file yes okay it's not a big database so it took a few minutes and yeah let's see 100 percent yeah thank you very much let's close this SQL server and now I have in my SQL Server instance the second organization um, the action that I'm doing it now is import this organization to my new deployment let's stick with automatically user mapping and then well, I need to ensure that I have one system admin for CRM, so I will change the existing user of this organization to another one. Okay, let's change the new user for the old one to CRM admin and click next. So the user mapping went well and now I'm for I'm checking for system check and uh, a lot of familiar warning like indexes, customization and data encryption which we talked about earlier. Let's click finish. And 
and that's it now the import organization process will upgrade my old organization of dynamic CRM 2011 and import it to the new develop deployment of dynamic CRM 2013 let's browse the second organization and see if it got what it takes That's it. This second organization also have been upgraded. Thank you very much.